Hello there, I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and on today's live stream we will look at the difference between noise reduction in multitrack versus the waveform of Adobe Audition. Brilliant question from Joseph Girardi. He said, so what is better, noise reduction inside multitrack or doing it in the waveform view? Really, really brilliant question that I'm going to attempt to answer for you right now. This show today brought to you by uh, my Adobe Audition Pro podcast presets. Presets that will add adaptive noise reduction to things like Skype guests to get rid of all their hiss and hum from their end. So you've got a good sounding podcast uh, with some nicely processed, EQ'd, compressed guests and hosts, uh, a auto-ducking talkover music channel as well, and everything to make sure that your final product is nicely compressed, meets the right loudness standard, and is ready to mix down and upload as an MP3 file. So uh, I'm going to show you the difference. Uh, obviously, adaptive noise reduction is on by default on my Skype guest channel here in the Pro Podcast presets, which you can get, by the way, at mrc.fm slash ppp. Let's listen to my original recording here. This is a recording with a bit of uh, low bass room rumble, as you can see here from spectral frequency. Let's listen. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. So there we go, you can hear that rumble. Let's highlight it and play it back. There is that rumble. Terrible stuff, we want to get rid of that. Um, so, in multi-track, essentially, the adaptive noise reduction uh, takes a little time, maybe a, a split second or so, to kick in and actually work. And when it does, it works pretty well. Listen. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. Now, obviously, you heard at the start the boof. That's the initial noise, uh, and that's the time it takes for adaptive noise reduction to kick in. Boosh. That's it. And then Hey, go. it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. Now you notice what it's done there is it's rolled off a lot of the low, but you've also got some kind of squeaky, kind of underwatery sound, uh, which is going on. You can, of course, change some settings here. You can reduce the noise uh, by a further amount of dB. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. That might help. Spectral decay rate you could increase a little bit to make sure it's not so harsh. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. And there's so much you can do. High quality mode obviously is going to work better than switching that off. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. But really, you have limited options in the multi-track for noise reduction. If you've got serious noise in your audio, you definitely want to double-click, head back here into the waveform view, and uh, and dive deep, shall we say. Because the noise reduction process that you can run in the waveform view is uh, far more detailed, far more advanced. Uh, plus, you have access to another effect in noise reduction called sound remover, uh, which may well be way uh, to go, which, of course, sound remover you cannot apply in real time inside multi-track. So first of all, let's do what we usually do, select noise only, which is this. That, that horrible bass rumble. And we'll go to Effects, Noise Reduction, Capture Noise Print, and click OK to that. And then we'll go into Effects, uh, Noise Reduction, Noise Reduction Process, select everything, go to Default here. That is still there, so what I'm going to do is increase uh, the amount of reduction I'm doing on the low end up until about here. Uh, increase the noise reduction and the reduction amount. Now we've lost that noise. Listen, absolute silence. Pretty hey, much. it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. And that noise reduction is definitely sounding better to me than what we achieved in the multi-track already. So you've got noise reduction, but again, your other option here is to go into effects, noise reduction restoration, and sound remover process. Again, this one not available at all in the multi-track, so another reason why it might be better to work inside the waveform view if you've got a particularly troublesome piece of audio. Learn the sound model here. Done. And as you can see in the preview window already, it's showing me it's eliminating it. Let's see how it works on the actual audio itself. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. Wow, I sound like I'm in outer space. Let's enhance for speech and try again from the beginning. Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of room rumble and hiss. You know, that's not too bad, although I think the noise reduction process uh, did just edge it for me a little bit there. But yeah... Many ways that you can do it, Joseph, and others watching interested in noise reduction. Obviously, in other videos, I do mention uh, using Dynamics effect in Amplitude and Compression. Uh, this is available from Adobe Audition CC 2018 and onwards. Autogate and Expander, two great features you can tick and set up uh, to let a certain audio threshold through, uh, but block out any nasty noises like this. Let's turn that gate up. Bit more. 
Hey, it's Mike here, suffering from a little bit of, although that's a bit too jumpy in this case because that audio is so loud in the background. Um, but otherwise, of course, you can set up a noise gate the traditional way. In previous versions of Adobe Audition that don't have dynamics, you can use dynamics processing and go for a noise gate at 20 dB. And then it's a case of dragging this along using the preview window as well uh, to find out when it's gating out your noise but not gating out your speech. So keep going until that starts to disappear completely. And it's nearly gone, although it's very loud, that noise. And there you see it's starting to decay now, just ever so slightly until we start to get rid of it. Um, but in this instance, I would say probably because that background noise is so loud, noise gating is not the best thing to set up. And probably you are going to want to use something uh, like noise reduction or sound remover, or even in the multi-track here included in my Pro Podcast presets, the adaptive noise reduction. Uh, on its default settings are pretty good that I've uh, put in my presets. Uh, but you can, of course, feel free to learn how all of these different buttons work and uh, change them for yourself. If you are interested in podcasting, and getting an excellent template to uh, make your podcast production process really, really simple. So all you have to do is stick stuff in here and mix it down, save as MP3 and upload. Go to mrc.fm slash PPP. That stands for Pro Podcast Presets. Thanks for watching the live stream. It is here daily, Monday to Friday from 6 p.m. UK time, answering your questions about audio production. Feel free to submit one via community.musicradiocreative.com, uh, via the voicemail hotline at 415-800-1055, or email us via the website at musicradiocreative.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>